She's not one of your ducks, you know. Oh, well, you recognise the distinction, <laughs> do you? Well, there's a bit of progress. Ah, uh, you're going to have to be interviewed to up the stage. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to call the hospital, tell them I'm going to be late. <laughs> what a varied life you lead, Doctor. Wanting killer one minute, angel of mercy the next. Do I have to put up with this? Why don't you uh, this step into my office? ridiculous. She stood right in the line of fire and that idiot made the gun go off. Oh, she's not dead. Mount Thomas Police, Constable Doyle speaking. It was quite deliberate. She simply lined Sally up and let her have it. What was Sally doing at the time? Trying to rescue a wounded bird. The sporting shooters would have just left it there. Are you sure Dr Hamilton saw of Sally? Of course she saw her. She could have been more than 25 metres away at the time. Uh, boss, excuse me. The hospital just rang. They're patching up Sally Simmons. They're going to send her home this afternoon. Right, thanks, Doyle. Well, Dr Hamilton couldn't be much of a shot then. If that's all the damage she could do at 25 metres... Nah. Hunters love talking about the clean kill. The reality is the best shots only injure and maim the most birds. Duck shooting isn't a sport. It's indiscriminate slaughter. If we could just stick to the point, please. Now, Dr Hamilton says that Miss Simmons only got shot because you were trying to wrestle her gun away and had accidentally discharged. You do realise that you could be charged with reckless conduct endangering life? She's lying. I never touched her gun. What were you doing in the area at the time? It was a legitimate protest, Sergeant. Oh, I see. So you had a valid permit then? We don't need official sanction. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr Prentice. You disappoint me, Nick. I was expecting shackles and cattle prods, at least. Well, I'm sorry we don't go into that sort of thing here. I thought you were in for customer service yeah. these days. This is a tape-recorded interview between Senior Constable Nicholas Schultz and Dr Zoe Hamilton, conducted at the Mount Thomas Police Station on the 5th of March, 1997. Constable Margaret Doyle is also present. Dr Hamilton, do you agree the time is now 9.26am? Yes. Yes. Has, um, has anybody ever told you that you give great interrogation? I thought you said you were in a hurry. Me? No, no, no. I called in a locum. I've, I've got all morning. For the moment, I'm charging you with being in a designated duck hunting area without the proper permit. You understand that a condition of your bail is not to go into the Widgery wetlands till the end of the duck hunting season, nor are you to approach anyone involved with duck hunting. Where's my shoveler? Can I help you, sir? Yeah, you can make that dirty, lousy bastard give me back my blue wing shoveler. Yeah, well, I think it's probably it's better if you stay That's behind That's quite the... enough. What's the problem, Mr... Norse. Ken Norse. <laughs> this dropkick stole one of my ducks. That's what it's all about. When was this? This morning, when that stupid mole got an arse full of lead. Thought no one was looking, didn't you? I don't have your duck. <laughs> yes, you do. Scott saw you. Scott. Yeah, yeah, my boy. Scott, come on. Is that right, son? Did you see this man take your father's game? Yeah, that's right. Where is it? The poor thing was suffering. It couldn't have been bloody suffering. I'd just given it a lead aspirin. Callous son of a... Mr Prentice, sit down. I'll be adding theft to your charge sheet. Yeah, maybe that'll teach you to stay out of the wetlands. And you can think yourself lucky I'm not going to slap a charge on you barging in here like that. When do I get my duck back? I need to keep it, sorry. Evidence, McKinley. Yeah, but we need it. I mean, this useless dipstick couldn't hit a dunny door at four paces. We're a duck short for our dinner. Duck short of a pond, if you ask me. What was that? <laughs> You're all right. We'll make do with a photograph. Give Constable McKinley a contact number. She can tell you when you can pick your duck up, and you'll need to make a statement, too. Yeah, all right. I'll be at the Imperial. Oh. Come on, Scott. Sorry about that. That's all right. Dad's always had a shock and things like that. Stacey! Better go. Check you later. See ya. Yeah, there's a lot to know, you know, which, which breeds are legal to shoot, which ones aren't, what the flight paths are, habitat. Just have a listen to this, tell me what you think it is. Dr Dent, who, uh, she's doing duck calls again. It's not just a duck, it's a grey teal, and it's completely different from the, the blue wing shoveler, yeah. which goes like this. Just stop that. You stop that now, please, please, stop that. Sorry, what's wrong? You don't seem to realise how serious this is. Yeah. Look, it would be serious if I'd intended to hurt her, but I shoot ducks, not people. 
I'll leave that job to you lot. If it's supposed to be funny, it's not. I've never shot anyone in my life. Okay, but isn't the thrill of the hunt all part of it? Finding your man, chasing your villains over fences? Oh, you're saying, you know, what we do. You know, chasing offenders is similar to just shooting the stuffing out of a blue-winged teal. A shoveler. No, no, I'm just saying that it appeals to the same basic instinct. Except there's more point in what we do. To serve and protect, I know, no. But uh, there's a point to duck hunting too, you know. Uh, what's that? Lunch. Lunch? Mm-hmm. Roast duck, orange sauce. The annual Mount Thomas Shooters Association do, 1pm today at the Imperial Hotel. Care to join me? No. Nope. No, no, I think you'll be having cheese and Vegemite sandwiches. That's what we're serving today. No, I'm sorry you've lost me. In the cells, because that's where you're going to be going, Dr Hamilton, if we charge you with attempted murder. Attempted murder? Don't be silly, to be thrown out of court. Well, she openly admits to shooting that girl. What, has she changed her story? No, she has So it could have been an accident. Well, I don't know about that. I, that woman's got some very peculiar ideas, have not we? We can't arrest people for being eccentric. We'd all get locked up for a start. Look, Nick... The duck hunting season is going to be a big enough headache as it is. If we start taking sides, we'll cause a riot. But I'm not talking about taking have sides. Have you finished getting statements from all the witnesses? No, not as such. And the gun won't be back from ballistics for a few no, days. but that doesn't really... So, complete the investigation, then we'll decide what charges to lay and against whom. OK. Oh, hello. You missed all the dramas, as usual. Well, the opening of the duck hunting season, why do you think I spent half the morning with Sal D'Angelo? What's Sal's problem? Someone swiped some used car batteries from his garage. Why would anyone want used car batteries? Well, it can be recycled, be worth a few bob, you know. I think it was the welcome stranger, the way that Sal's going. Do you want to see your this? Mm, a bit of pleasure. Hello, Mount Thomas Police. You don't have to charge me with murder to get out of a lunch invitation, you know? Simple no <laughs> would suffice. Boss, that was Chris. She needs us down the pub. All hell's broken loose. Jeannie's attacking the customers with a hot duck dinner. Poking around in my kitchen. That is a load of crap. Stand at the mouth, you were. I, I just wanted yourself. to check on the. Look, it's on the door. Stand yeah. only. I just wanted to know how my ducks were. Well and truly cooked, mate. So go outside when you please. Just go outside. Yeah, and get out, out of here before I put a little down. something extra in your sauce. The you you swept me. Come here. Oh, Take it any way you like, mate. Get out of here, everybody. Out. Get back to work. Hmm. No, no, I'd be delighted, Father. It's the least I can do. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Bye. How'd you go? Jeannie's queen of the duck pond again. Everything is under control. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure where Jeannie's concerned. <laughs> this Ken Norse is no Zen master either. No. Uh -huh. Perhaps it might be an idea to keep a bit of an eye on this duck lunch. What a walkthrough, you reckon? Well, you were invited. Why not accept? No, no, I can't. I'm in uniform. Well, change. No. Consider it special duty. Why? Yeah, don't argue with me, Nick. I'll be leaving you in charge of the station tomorrow. I want to make sure this situation doesn't get out of control. Oh. Where are you going? I've been asked to read the lesson at Edith Fleming's funeral. Mm. Poor old Edith. Mm. Look, I can't do it, you know. I'm not an idiot. I can run this place well for Edith's do. Yeah, I know you can, Nick. I'm just trying to clear the decks for you, that's all. Now, you go. Enjoy your duck. But I don't even like duck. Don't you? No, it's, it's too sort of, you know, it's too, I don't know, it's too greasy. I don't know. There we go. Cheers. Hey, I saved my plumpest for you. That's a chestnut teal. Oh, how'd you know that? It's a little tag on the leaves. That was my idea. What do you reckon? Charming idea, Ken. It's lovely. My food taster. Hmm? They were pretty serious allegations you were making this morning. I might have slipped you something. <laughs> so, Nick, mm -hmm. how long have you been working with Adam? Oh, since you was about that Where's high. your bird, Scott? That's all right. No, it's all right, Dad. No, you yeah. haven't got any meat. Yeah, yeah, I know. Miss! Ah, uh, my son's missing his duck. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but we're only giving two birds for your family. Bloody your rubbish. Then. Rubbish, I gave you three. I counted them myself. Well, I can't give you what I haven't got. I'm sorry. It's that it's bitch just... in the kitchen. It, Dad, really, I it's fine. You right. shut the hell up! Now get that bitch out of here. I'm sorry, but I will not have you speak about my staff like that. Well, if that. you won't get her out, I'll yes, come and get her. Get, 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 get out of my no, bloody house. Let go of no. me! Ken? Oh. Somebody get an ambulance.
Adam, they won't let us see Dad. Oh, you'll be right. They're probably just running some tests yeah, on him. That Dr. Hamilton won't tell us anything. You couldn't talk to her for us, could you? Well, I don't think she'll tell me any more than she'll tell you. Oh, Do Dr. Hamilton, how's Dad? Look, we'll let you know as soon as we can, OK? Senior constable could overwork. You know, if you must. Hiya, oh, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know for sure that it's not a heart attack or a strike. Yeah. Well, we're still testing. Yep. Look, it's a bit difficult. I don't want to accuse anybody, but... That's all right. You go right ahead. Why do you think he collapsed? Poison. That's what Dr Hamilton reckons. She's running tests. So someone spiked the orange sauce, yeah. maybe? Or the duck. He only had a couple of nibbles before he killed over. Yeah, or well, maybe that's all it took. Hang on, hang on. Aren't you getting a bit carried away here? I mean, this could just be a case of food poison. Oh, right. Yeah, well, then why isn't anybody else sick? Because he's the only one that ate that particular duck. Did you get the remains? Of what? The duck. Why? He had a stroke. Everyone thought he had a stroke. Forensic will need to look at it. Oh, all right. Come on, Adam, let's go hunt a duck in a pile of rubbish. Yeah, you know, while you're about it, have a word to Jeannie. See if she remembers anybody hanging around the kitchen. You know, I was just thinking it's a hell of a good way of making a point about the evils of duck hunting, isn't it? Matthew Prentice. Yeah, what's the magazine of his called again? Ah, interesting reading. Glad you find it edifying. Please keep it. You like to do things your own way, don't you, Mr Prentice? We're two minutes from midnight here. We all do what we can. But I'm sure you're not here to discuss conservation That's very issues. true, sir. That's very true. Now, are you aware that uh, Ken Norse collapsed this morning? The guy I took the duck from? No, I wasn't. Should I be? Oh, we have reason to suspect he may have been poisoned. Well, not by me, I can assure you. Well, Mr Prentice, you had every opportunity. You could have taken advantage of the confusion created by the shooting and added something to the duck. You're quite right. I could have done that. Except I didn't. All right, now, it appears you're into, uh, what's it called? Direct action? It's a free country. Or it used to be. That's very true, sir, but not if we have evidence that you've been tampering with the Donald Duck, it is. Uh, no, they're gone. The garbos don't come on Saturday. No, I know, but I got old Ernie Pringle to come and collect some prunings and Jeannie thought she might as well throw the kitchen scraps out as well. So Ernie's got them. Well, we did have them. I'd say they beat the tip by now. Great. Bring your gumboots. <sighs> Get off him, Jenny. Ah! Oh, oh, who's going to clean this mess up? What are you doing going through the rubbish? Uh, my duck. I was trying to find my duck. Are you talking about your father's? He shot it, yes. And why were you trying to find it? Because I was going to get rid of it. Get rid of the evidence. Right, so you're admitting to poisoning your dad. No, right? no. Well, you just said to me that you were trying to get rid of the evidence. I, I didn't want to get in trouble like that greenie guy. Wait, no, wait a minute. You're not talking about the duck your father ate. No, you? no. It's the one I was supposed to have. The Grey Teal. I thought you'd probably go through the kitchen. I didn't want you finding out that I'd stolen it. So why did you try and steal that one? Because I didn't want to eat it. Dad's always been on demand. No, hang on, I'm not talking to you. Now, why did you not want to eat it, mate? Because I've always hated hunting, all right? Ever since I was a kid. I mean, the first time Dad took me shooting, I was this big. And he made me strip down to my undies and go in and get this duck. So you're not too keen on your father, but are I you? I didn't poison him. I wouldn't know how. Do you have foxes on your farm, mate? Yes. And your dad uses bait? Yeah, but that's... All right, so you're lying to me then, Scott. No. What did you put in your father's lunch? Nothing. I didn't do it because I didn't. I didn't try and poison him. All right. All right. Have it your own way. Interview terminated at four fifty-two p.m. I'm telling you the truth. You'd better be Scott because attempted murder is a very serious charge. Uh, Prentice, P R E N T I C E. Well, if you regain your memory, you'll yep. uh, you'll let us know, won't you? You're right. Good on you. No, Tough. I didn't know Jeez, that. Yes, you're a bit rough on him, weren't you? Mate, it's character building. Oh, it's character. It's character building. Yeah. It's detective. You're building. a tough right, old son, detective, you know. Yeah. I want to speak right. to Sergeant Croydon. Regarding what, sir? Right. Two freckled DJ. ducks, yeah. a swan, and a black snake. And a partridge in a pear tree. It's All right, we've got a friend over there. Rightio. Well, you've come to the wrong place. You've got to go to the Department of Natural Resources. Are you and fobbing advice. me off, sir? I fobbed you off, sir. Mr. Please. Prentice, I'd like a word with you, please. Well, unless it's about this illegally shot wildlife, I really don't think I've got anything to say to you, Detective. You've breached your bar conditions. Now, you're not supposed to go anywhere near the wetlands, are you? What do you want to talk to me about? Well, let's start with this uh, conviction of yours in the UK, eh? Oh, I don't believe it. This is two years ago. Well, it's good to see you've turned over a new leaf. Come through. Hands off your freckled duck, mate. <laughs> Look at this, mate. Look. The birds? Look. Yeah. No! Look at snake! Something's off. <laughs> yeah, you try yeah. spending all afternoon at the tip. Oh, he's touchy. Oh, found the ducks. I had to coax them off a pack of stray dogs. Uh, get them off to forensic and then you can knock off. Well, you give me those gummies and I'll bronze them for you, Adam. Thank you. Well done, son. There you go. Clean those in your market, please. You might a drink. Anybody else come for a drink? Yeah, if you have a shower, first of all. I'll have a shower. 
Hey, Dash, you want to come for a drink? Uh, well, no, the gears are playing up on this bike and the guy at the bike shop's going to have a look at them for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe later. Fair enough. Hey, Dash. Hello there. Hi. How are you? Good. Seen any others? No, they haven't turned up yet, for you? Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Hello. Hi. I thought you'd be at the hospital. I was. I um, thought this would be a good place to hitch a lift. You know that's illegal. Oh, so arrest me. Maybe later. Do you want a drink? Yeah, Bundy and Coke would be nice. Okay. You should see some of the vases he's made. It's like the only thing Scotty's ever wanted is to be a potter, you know? Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, talk to my dad. Pottery's for poofters. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, so is everything. Sounds like my old man's a mm. classic. Mm. You got any sisters? Yeah, two. They're both older than me and both married. Oh, they're lucky. I never got off the farm long enough to meet anyone. Oh, you're here now, eh? Yeah, only because the old man's laid up in hospital. He'll be sitting up tomorrow, out by the end of the week. Oh, well. Drink up while I've got the chance. Mm. Do you want another one? Oh. Yeah, I will if you will. Are you yeah. trying to get me pissed or something? No, well, I'll get you a taxi if you want. No, you don't have to. Yes, I do. Getting pinched for point oh five is not exactly a good career. No, I mean, um, I don't want to go home. Not if you don't want me to. Hey, Chris, can I please have um, a glass of water? Sure. Thank you. You're late. You've been working. Uh, no. I was, I was just sort of fixing my bike. Um, I was supposed to meet Adam for a drink, but it looks like he's already got company. We've got your test results in, Ken. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What are they? Well, you've got a severe case of lead poisoning. It's that bloody cook. She left the pellets in no, the duct. The bitch tried to kill me. a lot more than a few me. pellets to do it, Ken. To get the level of lead you've got in your bloodstream, you'd have to be exposed over a, a long period of time. Look, apart from your hunting activities, are you aware of any contacts you may have had with lead? Look, I'm, I'm a farmer, mate. I deal in livestock and crops, not metals. Well, some paints have lead in them, is there... Look, I'm up to my armpits in debt. Do you really think I'm going to waste good money painting the bloody house? Could anyone have dumped any lead on your land anywhere? Yeah, well, well, the kids live there. Why aren't they sick? Oh, don't worry, we'll be testing them too, but they don't have the same symptoms as you. There's no vomiting or mood swings or irritability. I'm not bloody irritable. No, no, Ken, you're the same lovable guy you always were. And what's that supposed Just to mean? Just think about it. I'll come back and see you a bit later. I've gone right off her. Is he going to be okay? We'll have to administer sodium calcium meditate. Side effects can be pretty horrendous. And then so are his levels of lead. And what sort of side effects are you talking about? There's kidney damage and so on, but that's not what I'm really worried about. Well, what then? The most important thing for Ken right now is to get that lead out of his environment. Or well, we can call the health department and get them to check out the farm. What if Ken's right and they don't find anything? You're saying someone's been deliberately feeding him lead? It's possible. Didn't you say lead poisoning takes place over a long period of time? Yep, that's right. And the only people who have contact with him over a long period of time are his children. Scott and Stacey. Just be careful, on, would Stace. you? That was my Stace. Of Mars. I don't understand. What do they think they're going to find? Look, we're just trying to find out what made your old man sick, OK? Look, if you tell me what you're looking for, I'll help you find it. Stacey, who do most of the cooking here? I do, why? I'd like you to come down to the station, please, Stacey. Oh, sure, got nothing better to do. Come on, PJ, you don't honestly think she poisoned her old man. I don't know, mate. You seem to know her better than most. I know she's no murderer. I'll tell you what, Adam. You find someone with a better opportunity to tamper with Ken's mutton stew, and I'll interview them instead, OK? I'm 18, why? Really? I guess the old man must work you pretty hard, eh? Gee, thanks a lot. No, no, it's no offence. I uh, guess you just do it tough, that's all. Now, was that a, a ringer washer I saw in the laundry, Stacey? Yes, yeah, sorry? Well, you see, my mum used to have one of those when I was a tacker. It was out of date then. Yeah, well, you get used to it, you know. Do you? Do you really? You see, I don't think I'd ever get used to it. Stacey, how long's it been since you left school? A um, couple of years. You didn't want to go on? Um, would have liked to go on, on to business college, maybe um, do a hairdressing apprenticeship or something. Oh, why didn't you? 
Um, Dad needed me on the farm, didn't he? To wash and cook and iron and mend his... Yeah, all right. All right, I hate him. Is that what you want to hear? Did you poison his food, Stacey? Look, um, every night we watch that quiz show and I watch people winning cars and trips and clothes. Of course I hate the lousy old bastard. But did I slip lead in his cocoa? No, I didn't. Two dollars. She's a police widow. I don't even buy much Ask pansies. Adam. He's got all my money. Cooper. No, all my money, which you borrowed and now have to pay back. All right, put ten dollars in your name, you pay it back no, to me, all right? No, I'm paying that. Me and Stacey. That's okay. If we come up hey. with anything else, we'll be in touch. Oh, what, what, what? Edith, what is that about? Some flower money. Uh, oh, mate, you, owe, you owe me ten bucks. No, oh, no. So you're working for me. Please. Please. All right. You go for a wander. Uh, Edith Fleming's funeral oh, money. Yeah, wow. Well, this your little hidey hole, is it? Hey, Stacey, how'd you go? I know how a coffee bean feels. Roasted. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to ask all those questions. This is possible attempted murder. That's all right, by me. It gives me a chance to talk to you. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty. Well. Want to stay the home, please? Yeah, sure, no problem. Let's go. So now, right. just before you do, Edith Fleming's funeral mm, flower. I haven't money. got any money at the moment. Ten dollars later, you give it to me, all right? There you go. I knew I didn't know no, you ten dollars. You still owe me ten bucks. <clears throat> there you go. Is that all? Oh, you know, she should have died on a payday, old Edith. Sorry. We've got to get her a decent wreath. All right, I'll pay for it. Take $120 out of the social club funds, put everybody down for 20 bucks each. Well, no, that's a lot of flowers. Oh, shut up. Right. That's where I'll be after the service. Edith's niece and St David's, if you need me. Well, this is in case there's a siege in the oh, don't station be I'm just covering yeah. our back, that's all. Oh, boss. You look quite dashing. Thank you, McKinley. I gave you the number. Yes, Dad, it's on the fridge next to the uh, the ambulance in the fire funny. station. I'll see you later on. Looks like part of the Braden though, get up, doesn't he? You're quite dashy. Back to the station, I've got a stack of leap forms to fill out. Leap forms? Oh, sorry, <laughs> law enforcement assistance programs, just work jargon. You, you guys have a language all your own, don't you? Yeah, it's part of the job. Anyway, I better get the frog and toad. <laughs> Road, right? That's it. <laughs> Maybe you should teach me some of the lingo so I know what you guys are talking about. Stace, um. <laughs> I better get back to the station. Right. Um, when are we getting together again? I'll give you a call. Just make sure you do, OK? Yeah. Oh, hello, Dr Hamilton. Adam. It's Dash. No, I just think yeah. she's a bit too straight. Oh, she's um, not be a very good liar. Liar. Boy. You're just another sucker for a pretty face. Oh, rubbish. Yeah. I just think the boy's got a better motive, that's all. Well, it's not looking good for one of them. That was Doc Hamilton on the phone with the results of Scott and Stacey's blood tests. No lead poisoning in either of them. Well, the health department cleared the farm. All right, so it's back to Scott. Or Stacey. Well, both of them. They could be in cahoots. Yeah, it's a good theory. Hey, Adam, what do you think? Do you reckon that Scott and Stacey could be in this thing together? Well, don't ask him. The only theory he's interested in is the Big Bang Theory. Well, oh. if that's a crack about me and Stacey, we're just good friends. Yeah, good <laughs> friends with a mutual interest in Greek ramen restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, order. well, I don't see what evidence you've got anyway. I mean, you've turned the house upside down and you came up with nothing. Well, it's not going to be that obvious, is it? I mean, it's not going to have the skull and crossbones on it. Well, what then, PJ? I don't know, Adam. I mean, there's a lot of things that have lead in it. You know, like this, yeah, no. petrol, you know pottery glazes, oh, a fishing tack. Pottery glazes. Scott Norse does pottery. Stacey told me the other night. Hey, Scotty, it's the cops again. Twice in one day. I suppose I should feel on it. Hi, Stacey. Where's your brother? Why do you want to speak to him again? Now, is he inside? I guess so. Stay away from me! Stacey, come on. Calm down. Stop. Stop. Just calm down. Stop. I'm not going to jail. Just put the gun down. PJ. Just leave me alone. Leave it.
Yeah, Mags, what do you want? Scott North has absconded with his father's ute and one of his shotguns. I'll get the boss back. No, you won't. Yeah, but he said. No, nah, stay here, please. We'll handle this. Yeah. Well, there it is. Looks like it's been pranked. I can't see the kid anywhere. You trust the man if I were you. Mount Thomas 509 to Mount Thomas Station. Mount Thomas Station to Mount Thomas 509. We've located Ken North's ute down by Lake Widgery. Foxtrot Quebec, Mike 171. We suspect the ute is abandoned. There is no sign of the offender. We're going code four. Yeah, that's right. Um, we, we found the ute. All right, I'll pass on the word to approach with caution. Would, do you want map reference? Was the ETA on the airway? Yeah. I'll have to advise on that. Yeah, well, well how long do you yes, think that'll take? Okay. Meantime, we'll keep the Thanks very much. Bye bye. Lake. What have you got? The air wing are diverting a chopper from Evanley. It's going to take about 10 15 minutes to get there. PJ, this is Nick. 10 15 minutes on the chopper. What I don't understand is why the wetlands? Well, he's been going there since he was a boy. He knows it very well. Yeah, but I mean, this whole thing started because he doesn't like hunting. That'd be the last place I'd go. The Adam, wetlands, it doesn't make sense. you're not a shrink. Yeah, well, maybe not, but I reckon he needs one. He's pretty screwed up. Doesn't your friend Dr Hamilton have a bit of an interest in uh, psychiatry? She's not my friend, mate, and I don't know, does she? Well, let's give her a call. She might be able to give us a bit of an angle on what he might do. Don't you want to find the boy before the boss gets back? PJ, forget it. We're going to need a winch. I told you not to drive so close to the lake. What are you talking about? You said you saw him down here. I said here, I thought you? I saw somebody. That's all. I didn't expect right. you to come belting down right, through here. Just do here. me a favour and try and find a tree branch or something. And what's a tree branch going to do? Do it, please, Doyle. Thank you. A tree branch. I'm Thomas 509 to VKC. We'll have the four wheel drive out there as soon as we can. Mate, what's the weather like down there? Uh, it's pouring here. Get here as soon as you can, otherwise, we're going to spend the night here. Right, understood. Go on, you heard the man. Hurry yeah. up. Hey, we could take Matthew Prentice with us. Oh, that's a terrific idea, Dad. Yeah, all right, so he's a pain. He's the only guy that knows the wetlands like the back of his hand. Yeah, all right. But at the first sign of trouble, you know what to do, don't you? Right. You fill him full of lead. Adam! Adam! Okay, pal. You've got to do something, please. Hey, listen, listen. We no. won't let anything happen to him, all right? There. Nick, yes, mate, take her to the boss's office. Right? How'd you get here? I go by myself. Yes, there. thanks. Very much. Great afternoon for Dutch. Yeah, well, with you around it, isn't it? So what can I do for you? Uh, look, Scott Norse has just taken off with one of his father's guns and we were hoping you could give us a psychological profile and help oh, track him down. Oh, good, a manhunt. Yes, yeah, right up your alley. You feeling a bit better? Maybe. <laughs> oh, your mates out there must think I'm a real goose. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't think you're a goose. Yeah, that's cool. It's an old 303 cartridge. Oh, you can have it if you want. I found it on the farm. It's... Scotty made it into a game for me. <laughs> hey, Stace, listen, it's going to be fine. <laughs> you guys don't realise how much you're freaking in it. It wasn't too smart him running off like that, well, you know? Yeah, he didn't know what else to do. He's, he's really desperate, Adam. He thinks he's going to jail. He could do anything. Who said anything about jail? The way that detective was going on. Stacey, he's got to surrender the gun and give himself up. It's the only way he's going to get out of this. Well, there's only one thing that make him do that. OK, and what's that? Um, prove he didn't poison our dad. And somehow convince him you believe his story. Yeah, well, look, that's going to be extremely hard to do with him running around out in the that's bush. the only way. I'm frightened he'll do something really drastic. Not to anyone else, to himself. Please, Adam. I don't think I could face up to the old man on my own. Very 
very good constable. That's one for the uniforms. No worries. Weather's closing in. If I were him, I'd be looking for shelter. Is there any? A couple of huts. Uh, one over here near Barnard's Creek and the other right here. All right. I'll take Barnard's Creek and uh, you take that one, eh? You'll get bogged again. It's right on the foreshore. Oh, it's all right. Dash will get us out. Yeah, we'll be right. Thanks very much, Mr. Prince. Thank you very much. Uh, Mount Thomas Station to F495. There are GOA on the uh, western arm of the lake. Uh, proceed to the uh, the caravan park and search to the south of that. Yeah, roger right that, uh, ETA, two minutes. Bloody hell are you? Oh, well, this is probably just a panic reaction. Yeah. You probably just walk out of there. Hmm. Either that or... What? Oh. Sally, what brings you here? Oh, Nick called me in. Nick? Hey? I've uh, just had a bit of a problem. Why are you all with? Uh, I thought I told you to call me if there were any problems. What's Cooper doing in my office? Cooper. Hey, boss. How was the funeral? Ew. Why are you wet? I got caught in the rain. That's why I'm wet. I've been up on the church roof. Mm -hmm. Our lead burglar struck again. First sell D'Angelo's batteries. Now the lead flashing's off the church roof. Ken Norse has got lead poison. Cooper, what... Would you please tell me what's going on? How did you get up on the roof? I flew. How do you bloody well think? This is really important. Does your dad own a 303? No, just the shotgun he's got for duck shooting. Where'd you get this? Right outside the old shearers' quarters. Shearers' quarters? But you don't run sheep. No, it's, it's from before the property was subdivided. It's right away from the house most people Can you show me where that is? Yeah. Cooper? Yeah. Yep. Boss, I've got an idea about Ken Norse's poisoning. Well, um, this is where Scotty does his pottery, where the old man can't see him. What else is down there? Nothing, just empty room. So no one's been to either of the shacks for months. Uh, the helicopter hasn't reported seeing anything either. Well, do you want us to come back soon? It's going to be dark. Stand by, Dash. It's your call, mate. You're running the show. Hey, didn't you say he was injured? Yeah, well, we don't know how badly he's injured. Yeah, well, you know what they say about injured animals. Oh, well, what do they say? They always return to the lair. Oh, you think he might be going back to the farm? Well, it makes sense to me. We, we would have spotted him otherwise. Dash, I want you to go back to the Norse farm. I think Scott might be heading back that way. Receive that. Turn up for that, thanks. Isn't that where Cooper's taken Stacey? Mount Thomas Station to Mount Thomas 208. Mount Thomas Station to Mount Thomas 208. Mount Thomas Station to Mount Thomas 208. <laughs> Weird. Padlocked. Adam, why don't you just tell me what you're looking for? I'll know when I find it. Cells missing batteries. I don't understand. Your old man's been pinching lead to make ammunition. Wait here. Changed his plans, he hasn't told anyone. All right, I want this place searched. It's a nasty gash you got on your head there, mate. You might want to get a check. Just keep out. away from me! Just keep Come away! Come on, Scott, put the gun down, all right? I thought you didn't like guns. Scott, put the gun down! Now, look, I know you didn't poison your father, okay? How don't I not lie? I don't need to. I know you didn't try to hurt him. Scotty, he's telling the truth. No one's been hurting Dad, he's been doing it to himself. You trust me, don't you? Come on, Scott, hand the gun over. Charge your son, I'm afraid, Mr. Norse, but we'll do everything we can to lessen the penalty. 
Oh, I chucked a little bass in the clink. Might do him some good. Make a man of him. I don't think you realise what the juvenile justice... Bloody is. oath I realise. I'm wiping my hands of him. Finished. Well, that might just be as well, because I think you're going to have a few problems of your own to deal with. What are you talking about? A bit of lead? Well, no, it's not just the two counts of burglary and theft there, Ken. You've got making bullets for illegal weapons, selling to unlicensed gun holders. I think you could find yourself in jail. The name's Billy, not Silly. I know how it works. We'll put you inside for first offence. Is that right? Well, I don't know about your sentence, but I can tell you one thing. No more duck shooting. Now what are you on about? Well, you'll be a convicted felon, Ken. You'll have to hand your gun licence in. OK, I'll see you on Thursday to get that changed. Yeah. All right, guys. The car's this way. Is everyone going to loot? Yeah, I'm glad you caught your man. Did you have to be so rough? No, he had the wound on top of his head before we arrested him. Yeah, I know, but you were having fun, though, weren't you? Oh, I was having a ball. I was having a ball. Were you having a good time? Well, it didn't quite compare to Sunrise on the Wetlands, but, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Sunrise on the Wetlands. Well, what about uh, picking up where we left off? We didn't finish our lunches yesterday, did we? No, so... <laughs> Senior Constable Schultz, are you inviting me out? Uh, yeah, I guess I am, aren't I? One o'clock tomorrow? Be good? Good, right. All right, if you want to just sign there. Mm. OK, you're free to go. See you in court on the 16th. Mm. Hey, come here. <coughs> uh, now, it might be a bit hard to get back to the farm. So you want, you want to do something to it? I'm actually a little bit tired. Yeah, you could do that. This one's uh, uh, night, uh, supporting our servants in David. It's worth okay. keeping going to school, but can't stay home. All right? Oh, don't worry. I'll check you later then. If you need any help or anything, just give us a bell here. Someone will do something for you. Mm. Mm. Up. Mm. Yeah, Nick. Mm. Yep. I just wanted to uh, thank you for your help today. It was nice an thing. excellent job. Did you? So. No, it's never easy being in command. Look, uh, sorry, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I've got to chuff off and do something. So, thanks. Yeah, well, I thought you're the outdoorsy type. You well, should have worn your steps. Yes, spectacles. I am, but when you invited me for lunch, I just expected. What, well, nice tablecloths, crystal glasses, but a music thing? No, 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 it's not quite this, that's all. Well, I'll tell you what, you're not going to be disappointed when you see what I've got in the hand before you. What is it? You like duck, don't you, Doctor? Hey? Okay. You like it? Yes. Well, you hang on to that. Spot here. Bung the old blanket down. Don't peek. Down here, so you can get a good eyeful of it. You right? Mm. Go on, get that in your head. You want to finish the job with a cleaver? Look, I am a hunter, not a butcher, Nick. <laughs> he, got, he got blasted by your friends the other day. He's on the protective species list, but I don't think they read it properly. I was just um, going to drop him back in the water where he belongs, and um, then I suppose we can uh, go off to the Imperial and see what the rest of the day is. If you want, you know. Want to do that? You know I get the last laugh anyway. You're going to make me pay for lunch, are mm -hmm. you? I've already given up that one. <laughs> Good for you, Doctor. Yep, from now on I'm going to concentrate entirely on human prey. That sounds like fun. Ah, the luck of the Irish. All right, too good for you. I'm going home. Oh, Maggie. Oh, Adam, see ya. you're going to have that. See ya. You're having it to go? I'm wasted. I'm going to go up, I think. Oh. Too much bed and not enough sleep, hey? Oh, what's it to you? Honey? Oh, but um, if you're going to love them and leave them, then the leaving bit's important, you know. I don't know what you're talking about, Dash. I saw you give Stacey the brush off today at work. You wish. It's got nothing to do with me, buddy. Do you ever think that maybe I like Stacey? Huh. Where is she? Well, maybe I was tired. <laughs> Good night, Dash. No. <clears throat> tired. Well, don't just stand there. Come in. Stacey, how did you get in here? I pinched the master key from Chris Riley's office. I hope you don't mind. I wanted to surprise you. I don't really appreciate you breaking into my room. I'm sorry. I didn't know where else to go. 
with Scott gone and Dad coming back soon, I think. I can't face him on my own. I just can't. Okay. <laughs> well, why didn't you come and see me? We could have worked something out, huh? Isn't that what I'm doing? This is not what I meant, and you know it. Please, can't I stay here? You won't regret it, I promise.